hello cancer welcome into my channel thank you so much for being here and i do hope you're well thank you so much for being a part of this journey i hope you find messages here that resonate welcome back my subscribers thank you for being here and if you're new please go ahead and subscribe to my channel to be a part of this journey where we'll explore deeper into who you are really energy blocks healing transmutations okay so cancer i have some messages for you in this reading okay so let's go <coughs> it is a love reading but i feel it's mostly focused around you <coughs> you healing you really aligning with you okay we have the two of cups up here the two of hearts energy i feel that you make it could be someone coming into you that's offering you love because we also have the page of cups energy this could be by a message a gesture of love of appreciation it could be a gift it could be a spiritual awakening or an enlightenment coming through to you. Some of you could be experiencing uh, messages from the universe, just receiving messages from universal forces through your psychic abilities right now. Um, some of you could be receiving or even sending out messages of love, giving love more to those that you care about just wanting to be on this journey of healing of wellness of just giving from a pure space just being on top of your game grounded in your heart space there's a feeling of heaviness cloudedness baggage i was recording and it literally just stopped on its own i don't know why that happened i have I did not touch the camera or anything I don't know I feel like the last thing I was saying is that you there's a feeling of heaviness I feel, oh, this card I don't like this card I just there's this feeling of heaviness I don't maybe this is where I was when it stopped but there's this feeling of heaviness that needs to be released out of you it's that it's a wound it's an experience that you've had it's all of the experiences that you've had gathered inside of you and you're using it to identify yourself i feel like it's these feelings that are saying you're not good enough you're not worthy you're not worthy to prosper i feel like these beliefs are deeply embedded in you and so if you're really not prospering right now these are things that needs to come out of you there it's like it's it's becoming infectious it's inflamed and it needs to be released and there's going to i feel like it's with the moon energy too that we're experiencing now uh some rising some vibration some it's going to be something insightful and intuitive that you will be experiencing that's going to cause the veil to be lifted it's going to cause this festa to erupt and i'm saying it might be painful but it's going to heal you know sometimes things break out but then they heal and we have to allow ourselves to feel that i feel like you need to release it you need to let it go it's an opportunity it's a blessing coming into you so heal it's going to it's going to cause you to align with loving yourself more and this uh i was saying is also a card of union between you and another person a beautiful soul mate energy connection it's it is a promise of love a promise of love a gesture to commit to support to enhance to stand by to be true to another person this gesture could be coming from a fire signs Aries Leo Sagittarius coming into you it's it's a beautiful blessing a new beginning a new experience too 
right and this could be you making a vow a promise unto yourself to love you to look for reasons to love you i feel like there's need for healing for relaxation for rejuvenation okay with the temperance and the four of swords i feel like you really need to relax find ways to relax your heart because sometimes we think we're relaxing but we're not truly in relaxation mode so i feel you definitely need to relax especially your heart because remember i was talking about this congestion here it's oh that's the word it's a congestion that needs to be released okay it could possibly be in your heart area you could feel a lot of emotions in the space of your heart that needs to be released through crying through meditation through breathing through remaining hydrated through chanting through yoga through mute through dance through singing release through standing in water and healing through relaxation methods breathing into your heart space and feeling the rhythm of your heart actually directing the flow of your blood supporting the flow of your blood throughout your body asking for release also wow amazing chakra energy alignment too i feel some of you need to really balance your fourth chakra your heart chakra right focus on breathing in that energy green aligning with your heart space this is going to cause you to it's going to cause you to be strong enough to brace for the truth that is going to come out to light because you're as if you're going to need to be able to lean on yourself to lean on your own shoulders to love yourself to comfort yourself and you need to be really strong when this release takes place okay it's going to be good beautiful in the end right it's a, it's a healing coming through an energetical healing i love it <clears throat> it's good you know so yeah healing in your heart space this is relaxation getting your ideas your your dignity your foundation your stability going back into your roots clearing just becoming clear in your heart of who you are okay mm -mm. Coming clear in your heart of who you are so really finding balance go out and smell the roses being patient being kind being guided from within your heart space as a cancerian may really try and stay attuned to your natural essence which is nature life water growth flourishing prosperity i feel oh I, I feel when this release takes place this congestion is moved out this energetical block that is going to come out into light is going to heal up you're going to become whole more wholesome there's going to be prosperity around you i feel like you're going to look around and you're going to see this starts st starting to flourish that's flourishing that's flourishing this is flourishing and that's the energy that we're creating look at the bottom row here it's all about moving out the old and i'm going to share that with you in a few minutes but there is a balance coming in healing so you do i feel some of you do walk around with a burden of not feeling good enough hoarding maybe some of you are hoarders <coughs> You know you hold on to past experiences you 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 hold on to them as a defense mechanism too as if they make you they are your identity i feel like if you learn to release to open your arms and just let everything go let go of all ideas that you could ever imagine every experience and allow yourself to be fresh to be brand new i feel like then brand new beginnings of abundance flows into you this is financial stability and abundance and clarity a clear way on your path clearance clearance opening your heart opening your your eyes your space your path more right so opening up to release when you open it open up you allow a flow to take place in your life and then you can sit in your most beautiful, powerful position. 
because you're not congested anymore wow amazing <clears throat> you're now flowing now you can be the queen or king of cancerian of, of your kingdom of your temple powerful abundant abundant just abundance around you in your home in your mind very intelligent wise uh, just pure fresh free joyous having everything that you've ever wanted in your life your kingdom your castle your riches your love <clears throat> building the life that of your dream all of that manifesting there there's conflict as well that needs balancing there is uproar a bit of uproar in you as if re re energy desires from past connections <coughs> desires from your past connections will want to as it come through but you'll find balance so sometimes your energy your emotions gonna get a bit topsy-turvy but you'll find balance there's as i said something is definitely clearing out moving away here this could be you not moving forward yet just really sitting and looking at your life looking at all that you've accomplished so far looking at what you've manifested looking at who you are in order to have an idea for how to move forward and i believe that as soon as you make that decision if you haven't already you're going to move quickly and I feel like you you are being gifted with wisdom, like divine wisdom in order to move forward, to govern over. You could be coming into connection with another person. I see fire sign here and a bit of earth. This person governs over lands, rules, oversees, watches over has a leadership role you know maybe this this person too is moving out when you start to really ground yourself in your heart space this person has an eye on you on, on a connection maybe a connection that you're working with yourself this person could be having an eye on you this person could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn I see something being over and that is being suspicious maybe you you live in an environment where you feel suspicious and you're wondering what's going on around you most times um, but I feel like that's moving out with the deck card here and at the bottom of the deck this is you feeling good looking good as I said in your kingdom your castle you could be coming into a twin flame connection in love soon in the future with these cards here someone could be offering you love and healing well-being mm, empress mood too any other messages for this reading oh my gosh yes i said it earlier abundance financial stability inheritances money is coming in to you what i feel like the work that you're, you're going to any other messages I feel like you're doing something valuable it could be writing a book something that you're doing creatively but it's very valuable in in um in how it's being of service to others well put together just well done excellent excellent work and you put it together well and it's bringing in financial stability for you that's how I feel. So whatever you're working on, do it well. I feel like just do it excellent. I feel like you're one that usually works clean and efficiently and excellent. So tap into that gift of yours, um, into your, your, your wisdom, your intelligence, your, actual, your ability to move swiftly, to get what it is that you want to bring, what it is you want into this life, okay? I think you're really thinking of maybe writing, that's going to bring you financial stability and abundance. It's reflected here. Any other messages? Oh my gosh. This is this is my card of writing. Ask me why. <laughs> but I just always use this card as a card of writing. It's like 
messages on a piece of paper here. So I use this for documents, for legal documents, or just for creative writing. Because the Wands card is a card of creativity as well. So I feel like you're a very creative writer. Put your thoughts down on paper. Send them out. You could be receiving messages coming into you. Or your ideas are coming into you so swiftly. Look at this. And it's going to bring in swiftly to that financial stability and abundance. So get working. Let me see if I see... Become the master of your destiny here. So you have love and abundance, in abundance coming into you. Messages. All right, two more shuffles for this Cancerian reading. Any other messages? All right, that's, that's it. Any other? Okay. All right, let me teach you something. Any other? <laughs> Any other messages? Right. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to teach you something. Whew. All right. Some of you are going through heartbreak. I see that. I understand. I accept that the situation you're in currently is from time to time it's depressing it hurts the experiences the memories the feelings of trauma not being able to pick yourself up i get it but you have the gift the power the wisdom you have everything in you that it requires to change your focus i'm going to see if i get the magician energy out here for you you have everything you need to switch focus you can become more stable with the king of swords here you have defense on your team call on your defense your guides call on defense in your environment your family your friends okay have feel like you have stability and foundation even though this person is sitting here alone they feel very strong grounded because they have a feeling of security so find something that makes you feel safe as Cancerians, we tend to go into our shells to hide away, to find safety, maybe to run away from our emotions. But sometimes you have to go inside of your shell to protect yourself from energies that are not good for you. And so if you're going through heartbreak, Oh, I want to tell you, use this time, maybe in the darkness, you're alone sometimes, to go on an adventure, to heal, to follow your heart. This is an opportunity for you to breathe. This is the swords card, the air sign. Breathing is important for Cancerians. It helps your blood to flow. And remember, we were talking earlier about a congestion. And if you're in an environment where you're being triggered, reminded of your pain, who else is going to take control? And you have control of several things in your life that will help you to feel more grounded. That's you taking action, being direct, asking for guidance, building up, finding ways to feel secure and safe, trusting in your family, learning how to trust. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, breathing is important. Because as, as I said, it clears out energies. So if you feel stuck in a vibration, start breathing. Diving deep into yourself, following your heart, attuning to your natural environment. We did see the Empress card out here earlier in some shape or form. That's going into nature, being in your best, highest self, loving on yourself, blocking connections that are not good for you, work on you. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. And this is an abundance as well of love, emotional support, of healing, of well-being, of just of love in abundance. This could also be material success, whatever makes you happy, material success, money, Emotional fulfillment, judgment card. <laughs> oh, so the empress here. All right. 
any other messages about cancer's work focusing ability being direct moving forward when to move forward mm, you wanted to come out okay moving forward move what is this devil energy what is this devil energy moving forward devil energy just really being snagged in past experiences really overthink it yes for those of you who are going through broken-hearted situations you and you're not seeing the best now it's because you just are predominantly focusing on what you have lost it's as if you are attached to the feelings of the past that and they consistently hurt you i feel like you're in an environment too that triggers you and reminds you of what you've lost but i bid you to turn around do that turn and look at what it is that you have remaining look the water still flows here listen water still flowing Kedzerian. life is still happening around you despite all that you've lost or all that you feel like you've lost but this is telling me that this connection was not good because it, this is a devil energy it's toxic and maybe that's why you're so very attached and it's so hard for you to release and let go let's see <sighs> help help to release from focusing on negative energies okay how to move forward how to move on how to move away how to release toxic connections wow oh gosh <laughs> okay how to release toxic connections how to move forward we have the sun have the knight of pentacles the lovers the ten all right so these are beautiful cards brand new beginnings are coming into you like, like i feel i feel like this is if you look behind you i know it's not easy i'm sorry i'm smelling but i feel so much happier to help to help to break through this spell because sometimes we're in depression and it's like this spell this dark haze that you can't get through and that's you know that's it's hard it's sticky but i feel like if you try to turn around and look at what you do have with the two remaining cups you'll see that there's sunshine there's prosperity there's looking ahead for life it's like being born again it's like hey i'm ready to pick up what i have left and start a new start over you're young at heart young in spirit young in mind doing in being you have your whole life ahead of you brand new beginnings of value in self and this is after clearing out this murky energy letting it go releasing um releasing this toxic connection that keeps you stuck in past and keeps reliving terrible energy in your body new feelings coming into you with the ten of pentacles that's also financial abundance we have the lovers card here the lovers card it could be a new energy coming into you a new person this could be you coming into connection with your higher divine self once you go off on your journey to soul search here you may come upon an aspect of you that needs love from no one because you found your mate in you and then this will allow you to really attract your true soul person who will nourish you and love you look at all of this energy over here all of this water card empress king queen Right? Some, some of you may be leaving behind a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This energy feels like a player type of energy too. One that's not very committed. One that's just not very committed. The person probably generally is a lover energy. Not sure what they want, not stable in mind, in spirituality, in being, but very creative, a very noble soul too, but just not very grounded, not on the same path, not in going in the direction that you are at this point. Last message. I did say that earlier. No. Last message. Okay, no stop. Okay. okay, that person could also be Taurus. Virgo Capricorn Taurus Virgo Capricorn hmm. yeah. 
your person too i feel your person could be going through heartbreak to some of you your person could be a virgo and they could be having sleepless nights like sorrow feeling loss 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 looking at what they have lost having regrets just not doing well not feeling their best waiting just wanting a new beginning something to turn around in their favor <sighs> Oh my God, I asked for messages in my quiet mind for your, your person and I got the lover energy. So maybe this person wasn't faithful and all of that stuff, you know. Maybe I feel like they have sorrow over this. They feel vexed, vexed. They feel bad and they also feel vexed as if angry at not just angry with themselves, but angry at the situation. Angry at, maybe angry at their, their desires, their temperance. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is another confirmation that this could be a Virgo, maybe seeking healing to wanting forgiveness, wanting to surrender, to give, to... This person could be older than you. This is your past energy. Could be older. Very skillful. This person works with their hands. Very crafty. Uh, this person focuses on money. Yes, they have their own business set up. But there's just this toxic energy with them. And it's all connected to the congestion. This over here that you are feeling in your heart space that you just need to clear out one way or another for your best self clear clear out conditions it's okay to forgive a person look at this past past love connection with the six of cups it's okay to clear out what's not good for you messages last messages all right let's do Let's do something different. We're going to do. <laughs> All right, we're going to do for you. Let's do a yes or no for you. So you leave here with certain confirmation. If you didn't get it from the card so far, we're going to do a, a yes and no to, for you to get some clarity. So ask yourself a question within. Let the question come through for you. It could. It could be pertaining to the readings that we just did here. So ask about your past, ask about your future, ask about your present, money, love, whatever it is. Whatever it is that is on your heart, what do you want the most? What do you want to feel, to see, to experience? So ask that question. And we're going to do yes or no for you. Okay. Oh my. <laughs> I feel like there's still work to do. That is the answer. It's a beautiful yes with the three of cups. It's a celebration. It's something you're going to celebrate. You're going to be joyful about it. So that is the yes. But I feel like it's conditioning upon you being grounded and steadfast taking that step forward also you using your intuition to get you over 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 that road bump right but i feel like once you do yes you're going to celebrate there's a lot of prosperity the sun card is standing out here with your question you're going to welcome in brand new beginning celebration freedom travel exploration light shining into you love possibly love connection so that's your reading 
Cancerian, thank you so much for being here. I really do hope that you enjoy this reading and you found messages here that resonate with you and are able to help guide you along your journey. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I love and appreciate the support. My channel is fresh. And so, yes, I love the support. Thank you. Also, consider subscribing to my channel for future uploads. And remember on your way out, Cancerian, that you can be, do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you're all and all is within you. Much love. Bye. Thank you. Take care.